Hello, it's Julie again, and I'm here with our lovely fairy, or Fatima Schaefer, our wonderful yoga instructors and teacher. And in this pose, it's called Legs Up the Wall Pose. It's a brilliant pose, but as soon as she said she was doing it, we're looking around this beautiful studio and thinking, oh, we've got no wall space. And I do this at home all the time. It's an excuse. We can make space. And Fairy just says, but of course we've got space. We've got here. So don't make excuses and say that you haven't got space because we all have space and we could have even used the window. So Fairy, what is this pose for? Well, thank you, Julie. Yes, we always have room and space to do yoga. Uh, this pose is leg up against the wall pose, which is a wonderful pose to do at the end of the day. Uh, or whenever you want to just be more relaxed, more calm, to just slow down the heart rate and just take some time out just to, uh, it, it, benefits are, it benefits the back, it helps uh, circulation, which is, uh, reverses the flow of blood back, the down the legs into the heart. So it's, it helps for spider veins, for drainage, for varicose veins. It's also a wonderful pose just to calm your body and mind down and also for your hips as because you're putting your feet up against the wall and it's an overall beautiful pose just to do at the end of the day and you can just read a book or just uh, relax, you can be there for minimum 5 minutes, you can go up to 20 minutes for as long as you wish. Uh, so I do this pose a lot, especially after a long day. Wonderful, so if you'd like to show us, and of course we had space, even though at first we thought we didn't. And here we go, so on the window you can even do it. So basically when you do legs up against the wall, you come close, bring your hips close towards the wall. So basically you can bend your knees and bring your hips close to the wall on the side. So I'm going to start on this side, which is the left side. or you do it on the right side, it's up to you whichever side is convenient for you. So the closer their hips are on the side towards the wall, the easier it is to lift up the legs. And uh, so you're not creating any space between you and the wall. And basically you're just going to go down and you're going to just lift the legs up. There's a wall, so put your legs down, your back down in front of you, shift up, and your hips, your glutes, which is your buttocks, and your calf muscles, you try to bring the hamstrings as close as you can to the wall, and your ankles. And once you've done that, you can just relax. You can put your hands facing upwards in a receptive mode and just relax. You can read a book, or you can close your eyes as this reverses the flow of blood back the legs down and just automatically you just feel more relaxed, more calm and you feel just overall more balanced. And thank you Julie. Well, I think I'm going to stay here for some you time. You stay there for some time. <laughs> it looks wonderful. I know that this is wonderful but you've just shown me something because that looks much easier than the way I get my legs up the wall so I'm going to try this right. this evening. Well, thank you very much for showing us. Thank you everybody for listening. I hope you really enjoy seeing legs up the wall pose. And um, thank you to Fairy for sharing her knowledge. And please do like the channel if you like what you see, like these videos. And um, let's talk about yoga again soon. Thank you for listening.